How is Voyager 1 still powered, and how do we talk to it? It launched in 1977 and is now over 15 billion miles from Earth, making it the farthest human-made object in space, but how is it still running after nearly 50 years? Voyager doesn't use solar panels because sunlight is too weak that far out. Instead, it's powered by an RTG, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator. This nuclear battery converts heat from decaying plutonium-238 into electricity. Over time, the power output decreases, so NASA has been turning off non-essential systems to conserve energy. Despite this, Voyager 1 continues to send back valuable data from interstellar space. So, what kind of data is it transmitting? Voyager 1 measures cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma waves, helping us understand the environment beyond our solar system. How do we communicate with something so distant? Voyager 1 uses radio waves that take about 23 hours to reach Earth. NASA's Deep Space Network, with its massive antennas, picks up these incredibly weak signals. By the time they arrive, the signals are less than a billionth of a billionth of a watt. Yet NASA can still detect and decode this faint whisper from the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1's mission continues, and with careful power management, it may keep transmitting data into the 2030s. Until then, we're listening and learning from this incredible journey through interstellar space. If you enjoyed this, hit follow to keep exploring our universe scientifically.